Hi there. This is TR for Stagecoach Road Sewing Machine. Today we have a really pretty one for you. First of all, I want to show you the handle. This is a really beautiful piece right here, all on its own if you're into mid-century art. It's really rare to find one of these that's not broken. Wonderful plastic handle. Okay, I'm going to snap the latches on this little case here and show you the wizard. Hey, look at that. Yeah. Look at that two-tone cream and sea foam mid-century beautifulness. I'm going to guess this machine's from the late 50s or early 60s. And it's made in Japan. This machine is a Class 15 straight stitch sewing machine modeled off of Singer's famous 15 class stitch forming assembly which is a this sort of machine with a bobbin and a bobbin case. If you've sewn before you're probably familiar with this. If not we're going to just give you a little demo right now. Let's put a beautiful red spool felt on there. Spool felts stop your spool from backlashing and tangling. They're not just for purdies. Okay. Oh, well, look at that. The wizard has a place for another spool felt. Look at that. Okay, this is your for bobbin winding down here. I'm going to wind the bobbin first. That's, if you've sewn before, you know you got to declutch the machine. We just turn into that center wheel inside there backwards, which gives you bobbin winding capability without the rest of the machine running. Go through that little handy tension disc right there. Yourself a blank bobbin. These are available at any fabric store. Look for class 15. Pick a hole in the bobbin, any hole. Make sure that when you put your bobbin on the bobbin winder spindle, there's a little uh, index mark there and a little mark on the bobbin. There, click it on as far as it'll go. Then push. Sticks right down. Winding a bobbin. Now we're not going to wind the whole bobbin for the purpose of the demo. But if we did let it go all the way, it would click off just like that. Bobbin off. Tighten the machine's clutch back up. Now let's thread the bobbin case. Hold the bobbin case in your left hand. Doesn't matter if you're left handed or right handed. Learn a new skill, doesn't matter. Bobbin case in the left hand, bobbin in the right hand with the thread coming off away from you like this. See the little finger? Have it pointing up. And notch right there. Hold the bobbin so it doesn't rotate. Leave the thread under the flat tension spring until you hear a click. Pull out about five inches of thread. Let it hang free. Put your hand down in there and stick that on the little spindle. Push in. Put that little finger fits in there until you hear a click. There you go. Close that door. Now let's thread the top. And right there. Class 15 tension. Lead it between the two little convex pizza plates. Throw the spring over the notch. I believe that on our Stagecoach Road sewing machine homepage, we have a standard class 15 threading video. So if this is going a little fast for you, don't worry. See how it goes? Up, around, through the spring, over the notch, take up lever, down, and through the needle. Now this needle, when you put a needle in this machine, this is a regular Stinger or Schmetz, any kind of needle you get at any fabric sewing machine store. It has a flat side. When you put the needle in the sewing machine, the flat side on the wizard faces the pillar. That's what this part's called. Stick it up in there as far as it'll go. Tighten the thumb screw. Now we're going to thread it. Make sure you got it in there and thread your needle. From left to right. Ah, here we go. 
Now, knee just thread under and between the toes. Woo! And now we're going to bring up the bobbin thread. Now on these types of machines, always turn the hand wheel towards you. Okay? Always towards you. Like this. Take a little thread. Ha ha. Leave both threads back across the bed of the machine. We are ready to sew, people. Okay. When you start to sew on a class 15 machine, turn the hand wheel towards you until the take-up lever is at its highest point. We're going to start off with a couple layers of regular broadcloth, standard dress and shirt weight fabric here, calico weight. Drop your feet. Okay. Hold the threads for the first couple stitches. Just hold them down. And here we go. Listen to that smooth stitch. Here we've got our stitch length indicator. Now, as like many Japanese and European machines, this one uses a metric scale rather than an uh, English or American scale at the time for the mid-century. This is metal, enameled metal. There's a little bit of plastic here, but this machine is all metal, people. Okay, so we've got, so we've got here's a 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. I think that's millimeters. So... Let's put it at about two, two and a half. Correct for this fabric. Oh, that's so awesome. Nice, even speed control. Good stitch quality. Let's pivot there so we can go back and show you reverse, which is this wonderful. All right in the center there. You can tack your seams. How fast will it go? Pretty darn fast. Tack that seam, but really I'm more impressed with the slums here. Good control for quilting, things like that. Speaking of quilting and embroidery and decorative stuff, Let's say you want to do a little free motion work with this machine. We can do that. It's easy to drop the feed. This is a feed drop button right here. We can put it down a little bit, or we can take it all the way down. Now there's no feed. All right, it's not going anywhere. Aha, one step more. This is called a patchomatic. Push the outer ring down, and the pressure on the foot is lessened. Now, you can move the fabric however you want for free motion embroidery, outline quilting, mending. It's often good to have the fabric in a quilting hook while you're doing this. A little embroidery hook things. Pretty neat though. Okay, let's put the pressure back on by pushing down to about half. When would you want to put it all the way down? And you're sewing heavy fabric, which is what we're going to do next. Lift the pressure foot. Raise the needle to its highest position. Press your foot all the way up. Pull the fabric out. Yeah. Okay, let's try some heavier fabric. Okay. Denim. Well, two layers. Okay, we can, we're going to have trouble with that. Let's just try this little pizza shape of four layers. Let's stick it on the foot. We've got full pressure on here. Now for denim, we might want a longer stitch. Remember the basic sewing rule. Longer stitch, bigger needle, heavier fabric. Oh, got to turn this back up too. Don't forget. Raise your feed. Now it's going to go. Yay! Not a problem. Look at that. Right through there. What about leather, you say? Well, if you're in the business of making harnesses and belts, you want to get a real industrial sewing machine. However, for occasional mending and sewing of garment weight leather, there's an old leather coat here. Let's just cruise down the side of that. You're not going to have a problem here with Mr. Wizard. Look at the 
control you get with this machine just I mean, you can so very precisely a lot of machines older machines are so fast only because the foot control might be worn out the wizard here has a standard foot control um, this is not the original one that came with the machine this is a new replaced one so you got a lot of a lot of it's very safe and got a lot of speed control with it but the only thing that ever wears out on these machines is the speed control. The motor's very nice on this. The motor doesn't make any weird smells or smoke or anything like that. Quite strong. The Wizard would be an excellent machine for someone who's into quilting, garment making, uh, mid-century decor. I mean, just buy this sucker and set it on your nightstand for a nightlight. It's that cool. This is TR for a stagecoach road sewing machine. You can have the wizard. Check it out. Right here.